Hey guys, welcome back here to the next show. We're going to compare the GMC Hummer EV SUV to the Rivian R1S. So, uh, we're going to talk about the pricing, specs, everything. So, um, we're going to look at the first editions, not these. We might as well just look at all. So, the GMC Hummer EV Edition 1 costs 1,005. Uh, 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 105,595. This costs the starting the launch edition that's fully uh, you know, sold out costs 75 grand. So we're gonna do USD QINR and as usual the oh yo hold up. Okay guys, look at the time, it's 17.02 and it is 17-02, okay, I just don't see that. Whatever, so it was, it was like, what, 75.12, like, what well, I was going, I had to stop the recording with my computer, like, you know, shut down, so that's what it stopped. That time we like, 17.12, okay, so we're going to do 105,000, 595. Seventy nine lakhs fifty two thousand six hundred and forty nine rupees. Uh, Seventy five thousand dollars is fifty six lakhs. So uh, that is about twenty two lakhs difference. That's insane. So uh, that is then. Then give me a minute, guys. I got a message. So um. That was just a message from something somewhere. So uh, it starts at seventy thousand dollars. That's like the base edition, of the highest. It's three hundred and sixteen miles range. Uh, I just copied that. This has uh, three hundred and fourteen miles range. So which is looking at two mile difference, which does not make a difference. I no way. I think this. Okay, so um yeah, so this is about uh 329 miles I would say. Let's just see it. Yeah, let's just see it. Let's go back and uh, it is loading. It's doing a lot of time. Three hundred miles range plus, so this has a definite three hundred sixty miles. This is still in the mix for like uh, three hundred plus miles. So let's just take it as three hundred and five, three hundred and six miles. So for like, I think that will have like more range than the. I think I don't want like you know. Like, so let's just say three hundred twenty miles, three hundred sixty miles does not make a difference. So range wise, both are pretty good. Then let's look at capability. So from city streets or to far off trails, explore all types of terrain, through all kinds of weather, uh, whatever it means to you, Rivian uh, R1S is ready for you. So if you want like a seven seater, good, sleek looking, not that pop up, popping um, SUV, this is your car, the Rivian R1S. If you want to look like, you know, a guy who's from the future, who's from the moon. This is your truck. This. This one. The uh, SUV version of the Hummer EV, which is the Hummer EV SUV. So this also has uh, self-driving capabilities. So it goes 0 to 60 in, six point, uh, in 3 point 3 seconds. That goes in 3, uh, 3 .5 seconds, so 0 0.5 difference. The towing capacity of this is 2,700 pounds. This is... Um, I'm gonna leave the dimensions. Okay, we're gonna reserve one. Okay, it has a hundred, uh, uh, this has about, I think, 495 pound feet torque. That's 11,500 pound feet torque. This has lowers, uh, hold on. This has a Bose audio system that has a Meridian tree, I think this is called. Mediterranean tree, something like that is called. Uh, so. And, uh, hold on, guys. I'm 
looking for the okay I I will see so we want to see the total capacity of this SUV So, because it uh, not so much is written on the change to that side, so yeah. And the last thing. Seventy five hundred pounds. If you're looking for, you know, towing capacity and all. Okay, so it is pretty much the same. This has a quad motor. This has uh, three motors. So this is better for power train. Then, if you want to take it off road, I would recommend this if you're like a full-on camping guy. It looks like a family SUV, but it is a pretty like you know camping style, camping style. Uh, Camping style truck. So this truck, I'm not a truck, the SUV. The SUV has a built-in speaker. I mean, a built-in speaker and sense, like they give you a wireless Bluetooth speaker that charges that has a charging pack, wireless charging speaker. So when you keep it back in the car, the charge up to the battery. So that might decrease the range by a little bit. I don't know, not actually seen it. This looks really nice. This and that looks like a phone this is like, this is a tablet. It has vegan leather, this has man-made leather, I will link the videos. Utility, this is how the inside will look like, so, storage. Hold on. So, all this can fold down, and you can put like, hold up, so one, four small suitcases, two large and two medium suitcases, wow. And then you have this. So this is like, looks like a Pajero, like where you can, you know, do that. So because the Pajero can also do that, so if you fold it down. Then adventure gear, this is not the adventure gear, as I told you guys, that there's a tent, the seats fold flat, and then it has 12 ultrasonic sensors. This has, I don't know how many, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm sure that this has as much as that. The specs is uh, your yes. Expo package launcher. Should be looking at this guy. So seventy five thousand five hundred actually. So it has uh, twenty to twenty twenty uh, twenty two twenty all terrain or twenty two sport wheel upgrade included. So this also has a twenty two inch premium wheels with thirty five forty all terrain wheels. Then 100% recycled microfiber headliner, uh, Shiniwich floor mats, I don't know what I call it. What I call it. Uh, yeah, so uh, overall, I would say they're not less than that truck. Uh, but I always say truck. SUV, tomorrow we'll be comparing both the Hummer EV and the uh, pickup truck and the SUV. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. So, hope you guys enjoyed. So, overall, if you're looking for, like, uh, let me just give my thoughts on this. So, overall, if you're looking for a camping style, that, that can also help you in your day. Like, looks nice, has a sleek body, looks, looks normal. The RMS is yours because the RMS also has a gear tunnel, which I didn't tell you guys about. I told you guys in the RMS video. That video is my most viewed, what? My most viewed video. Let me show you guys. I'm not sure you guys tell you guys how many views that thing has. That video has 303 freaking views. Then comes the... Then comes the Winfast Me F9 versus Tesla Model X with 280 views guys. 280 freaking views. Then review the Winfast on the Winfast website. Has 268 views, like that's insane. Then there is the Rinaldi versus the Rinaldi, so we're gonna do it with the Hummer 191 
then blown away by the uh, by sponsor of the review of the VF9 review. That's a shot that got 156 views in seven days. Then the little album has that was just like 152 views in the short. For that right, for right, right moment, that was like short four years ago, 104 views. Then when is the Snapchat coming in production? 99 views one month. So this is it. When first we if eight was it doesn't matter why 72 views. Then the uh review the loser ever around the loser went to 62. Then the Raven Audi comes for introduction 37 55. Raven Audi versus Sarutra 50. JB, okay, so after that, before that comes the Raven Fast Wave 8 versus the Raven Fast Wave 9. 54 views, guys. This is freaking insane by the amount of response that I've got on electric vehicles. So, yeah, I mean, electric vehicles is the way to go, I think. Yeah, it is. Whew, I'm tired of talking now. So, I'm gonna end the video if you guys enjoyed this. I'm just gonna down below in the description. So, see you all so, so bye.